name is Prince. My name is Prince. My name is Prince. But there is only one Prince. <laughs> only one man who has defied restriction. Who's defied the obvious and all the rules to the game. A mysterious figure who in a river of words will not suffice, can only be identified by a symbol. Before his music set the world on fire, Prince made a name for himself on the court outside Park Avenue United Methodist Church in South Minneapolis. The first time I remember seeing Prince, it was about sixth grade. Prince was very athletic. To me, his biggest assets were his speed and his quickness. From the church league here, Prince and Greg Boone would be teammates at Bryant Junior High. From seventh through ninth grade, Prince at point guard. Central High basketball coach Al Nunes was scouting what was then regarded as a once-in-a-generation group of players, including Prince. Many of those players would star on a legendary 75-76 team at Central, but Prince would not be among them. We were playing, and then all of a sudden, Prince walks off, he leaves. He said, oh, he's gotta catch the bus. You know, he had some music commitments. <laughs> became such a big deal back then is ever since my third album uh, I wasn't really taking large advances from the recording companies I was recording the albums myself in my own studio so the way I looked at it I owned the work because I paid for it and I did all the work I created it so I felt like it should belong to me it's not like uh, we're against them or anything like that the, the idea is that we find better ways of working with one another um, it shouldn't be a situation where they own the album or the work. It's a, we're talking about intellectual copyright. If they're going to be indeed a delivery service, then that's fine. But even FedEx doesn't say that they own the thing that they ship. <laughs> 